In Creo Parametric 12, there are a bunch of neat enhancements to the enclosure volume command. In an assembly, you can create an enclosure volume from the model tab by going to the cut and surface overflow menu and then to the surface flyout. And here at the bottom is enclosure volume. If you've never used enclosure volume before, then there are a couple of practical applications, like you can use them in computational fluid dynamics or CFD, but also you can use it for designing packages, for designing the boxes that are going to hold different components. So anyhow, let me click on the command. And by the way, if you have never played with the command, do yourself a favor. This is a really, really fun command to use. And so here I am in the command. First thing is right now we are in the aligned option. If you go to the optimized option, there is a new control for constraining the box orientation. So I have this box that fits around my little robot hand, but let's say for whatever reason, I want this to be oriented differently inside of the box. You can click in this collector for the constrained box orientation. By the way, you will notice that there is a little blue triangle over this field, indicating that this is new in Creo Parametric 12. But anyhow, let me activate the field. Now I'm going to pick this flat surface, and you can see that the box reorients. Let me actually reorient the cube around there so you can see that. Let's say for whatever reason that I wanted the box to be oriented like this, or let me choose a different surface now that it's oriented around that one over there, or maybe I wanna choose around this surface here. And so this is a great, neat little addition to the command. Let's go to the options tab. And here we have our linear offsets. Again, I mentioned that you can use this for designing packaging. So maybe we want to have an offset around here. I'm gonna choose a value of five to make it bigger. But here we have an option for non-uniform. By the way, this was in previous versions, but there is a method to my madness. There's a reason that I am applying the non-uniform offset. I will show you in a moment. And so let me plug in some different values over here. Let's try a value of 10 in the plus X, and I can see how that increases. Let's do 10 in the minus X as well. And then let's try in the Y, let's do five in this direction, five in this direction, and then in the Z direction, just for making it a little different, let's do values of eight. I'm just plugging in some different values inside of here. So now I've plugged in my offsets from there. Let's go to the properties tab. And here's where you can change the name of the feature. We can see that there are a bunch of parameters listed in here, like volume, X, Y, and Z, and also length, width, and height. You have these parameters in previous versions as well. I'm going to choose to create the box parameters and then hit the check mark. And this is so I can show you one of the new enhancements. You can see the bounding box around here. Let me bring back my model tree. I'm gonna right mouse, click and hold and go to the parameters for this enclosure volume feature. And so there are a few new parameters. Let me grab this name column and make it wider. And so some of the new parameters that you have in here, let me scroll down. We have ones like PTC B box is uniform offset. Now we have a value of no because I made it a non-uniform offset. Here we have the max offset value. Here we have one for the height. You've got some other different ones in here, like for the volume, the X, Y, Z, the length, width, and height. Some of these were in previous iterations, but like I mentioned, uh, these parameters down here are new ones that were added in Creole Parametric 12. So this is good. Let me click the OK button and then deselect everything. I'm going to jump over to a part model to show you another advantage of this. Let me turn on my coordinate system display. And here we have a part model. It's got some nice lattice features in there, but 
We all know that sometimes you end up designing a part in space offset from your default coordinate system for whatever reason. So let's say that I needed to define an enclosure volume inside of here. Well, let's go to our surfaces drop down menu in part mode. And once again, we have enclosure volume down at the bottom. I will click on this command. And so if we take a look at the dashboard, again, the default option is aligned. In other words, it's going to orient the box relative to your default coordinate system. You could choose a different coordinate system for the orientation, but this volume is clearly not optimized. Oops, where the heck is my model? Let me go back to my refit and I'm going to turn off my coordinate system display just so that I don't have a weird place that I'm spinning about. So anyhow, here I have my box in there and this is clearly not optimized. If I was to use this as my box, I would have a lot of empty space. If I was to use this in a CFD analysis, well, there'd probably be a lot of wasted calculations. So let's change to optimized. And once again, I want you to take a look at the references tab and see how it changes when I go to optimized. We once again have this control over here for constraining the box orientation. And so you can see that, you know, we can go in here and I can say, oh, this is not, you know, oriented exactly. I mean, it is the minimum volume, but maybe I want to orient this relative to a flat surface in the part. And so let me go in here and let me zoom in. I just want to make sure that I'm getting the part that the surface that I want to orient to. Let me see if I can cheat and just go to my selection filter, there we go. Makes it a little easier for picking that nice thin surface. And let me zoom back out. And so now we see that this is using that flat surface as the orientation reference. And so this is just a great, nice little addition. And once again, we can go to the options tab and change the offsets if we want to. And we have our different properties inside of here. And we can create these as parameters within the feature as well. So this is good. Let me hit the check mark in order to complete that feature. And again, I can't stress this enough. If you have a nice weirdly shaped part, this is a good one, a uh, good command to play around with and see how it works for creating your different boxes for packaging or your enclosure volumes. Also, let me go to the applications tab. If you're doing any kind of generative design, you can also end up with some different weird shapes in that are generated in your topology. So you might want to use it in that situation. And last stuff that I want to mention is that you can use this in your part templates. Let me go and turn on my coordinate system display and my plane display. And so here I have a part that I am updating to use as a template for new parts in Creo Parametric 12. And so I've got my default data and planes, default coordinate system. Now you have the ability to place an enclosure volume as one of your standard features inside of your model templates. So let me go to my services drop down menu. Here we have the enclosure volume command. I will click on it. I'll leave it with the aligned option in here. So let's say I go to hit the green check mark. Let's say I want to complete out of the feature. I'm going to get a failure. And the reason I get a failure is because there's no geometry in the model. Therefore, there is no bounding box. And so we have values of zero for X, Y, and Z. We have zero volume in here. That is why this is failing. So I'm going to cancel out of the regeneration failure. Let me cancel out of the troubleshooter and then resume the dashboard with the play button. There is a brand new option here to create the box geometry. Once again, we have this little blue triangle as an indication that this is new functionality. And so we can uncheck this option here to not create the box geometry. And one other thing that I want to mention is that an advantage of turning off the generation of box geometry, even if you have 3D geometry in the part, 
is that if you are not creating box geometry, you can move this feature to your footer in order to improve model regeneration. You can still generate parameters if you want to. So for example, we can create our different box parameters in this model. But in this situation, I'm not creating my box geometry and I can hit the check mark. And here we have our enclosure volume feature created. So, so in that way, I can now have the enclosure volume feature in my default templates. And let's say I don't want it in the top of my model tree. Here's my footer. Again, this is my personal template that is set up for MBD. And I have some annotation features for my different combination states. But if you have the option for creating box geometry turned off, you can now right click on the feature and choose move to footer. Here you can see it down at the bottom of the footer. And that way I don't see it in the main part of my model tree. So there you have it. Those are a bunch of the enhancements to the enclosure volume feature in Creole Parametric 12.